Hello guys, today I will talk about how you can create a live streaming app using Agora and Angular framework. So let me show you code. So with that you can easily create uh, any video conferencing tool. So let me show you here the document of Agora. How you can what's their structure what is their basic process so all things i am going to cover here so first thing is you need to understand this chart here th what they mentioned so there are prerequisite before you need to proceed here what you must have you must have the uh, developer account with agora so basically from from here what you need you need uh, app id means from here you need to create a project and then after creating a project you will get some details here so you need to update you need those details to run the project second main thing that you must have is uh, you must have knowledge of uh, you must have some knowledge of agora package how it works and its version its version is very important because there are two versions of agora first is agora 3 and agora 4 so they both are completely different let me check one more thing here uh, just a second check here so means I have create already created these videos so you can also check those videos so these comes under the prerequisite so basically you need a console account and you need to know how to, you can generate the token so what is the token process so this is also important to learn so let's come back to the uh, diagram that we already there so what we have to do here so Agora provides some utilities so with that utilities you can easily configure your project you can easily configure you can easily customize your video conferencing app like camera video so all you can achieve using some the uh, utilities that Agora provides so here uh, as we know what we are going to create we are going to create a live streaming app so what we have in the live streaming as app is basically some members are talking and uh, other members are listening what they are talking about so they uh, suppose there are a webinar happening suppose there are some as you can see in the on the Instagram on Facebook live so what they do means there are two three people are talking and other like members are listening what they are doing okay so what they are doing so they can see they can listen so here we are going to create that kind of app so let me show you here what we need to do for that so for firstly what you need to do you need to set the client role host host basically means the the members that uh, are going to join the call means the these are the main members uh, that uh, basically start the meet start the webinar so uh, so so for for those members you need to set their role as host and sec uh, so here you need to set the uh, role host second is you need to set the role audience in case of if audience join that stream so there are uh, one more thing let me tell you first here Mm. 
just a second so there are certain steps that you, you need to follow like firstly you need to set a role first firstly you need to set a role then what you need to do what the second step second step is basically get a token from the server that, that i mentioning in the start of video that you need a token to start a meet to start a stream so there is server so from server you can generate a token third is basically you will join the channel that you are going to proceed fourth is you are going to uh, publish those tracks on in all the four steps you use some agora utilities so with that you can easily configure all those steps and here main thing is uh, as you can see like here we do the uh, role set we here set the role second is we generate a token from server we join a channel we subscribe all the host that means here we publish the roles here we subscribing the roles so here the main difference that you can see here we are setting the roles which are different like here we set the host here we set we are setting the audience so these so i will uh, walk you through the code one by one so here this this is the basic diagram that you firstly need to understand second you need to look uh, the uh, another piece of diagram which basically show some code what utilities you need to use so here uh, as you can see here this is our web app the sdrt is a protocol that agora uses and this is our uh, sdk so to use uh, this uh, agora package what you need to do you need to firstly create a client so agora provide so with that uh, means firstly you need to install the library then you need to create a client in which you need to set a mode according uh, you need to set a mode then what you need to do as i mentioned like you need to set the role so this is the set client role method that you need to use of agora to set the role of host audience next is uh, you need to uh, join uh, you need to join the channel after that uh, you need to join the channel then after that uh, as i mentioned like you need to create and publish local tracks so these are the methods that you need to use like uh, create microphone audio track create camera video track and publish those tracks so all, all this you can publish easily next is uh, uh, so this is this is this methods this event this callback is going to call when some user join the call suppose one user is in the call and another one is joining so uh, in the another one case you will get this method called i will show you all those things on the code part so with that you can subscribe the host uh, tracks and uh, you can also close the tracks just a second okay no issue so so this is all about the joining the channel second is uh, how you can leave the channel so what that what you need to do uh, you need to call those close methods leave method to close the call so let me tell you all those things so let's start with the code so i have created a new angular project here with that uh, so firstly you need to create angular project i have already created a project here and i am starting the project now
now our project is running so here what we are doing uh, let me show you so here as we know uh, there are certain structures that you need to follow so here what you need to do means user join through some co some link so firstly you need to create the links uh, you need to create a links for that or uh, mm, this is i already talked about so this is the package that we are going to install so this this i have already uh, installed in my project you can see here so this is a project uh, that we are going this is a package that we are going to use here and uh, next is uh, i am talking about the project structure so what structure we are going to follow so here this is a basic structure that we have created so here what we need here is we need to create call a api to uh, generate a token to get a token so here we have read service second stream service basically we here we write all the agora rtc code um, the utilities that we are going to use and uh, third is third is app routing so in the app routing we created a three we created multiple routes like for one route is basically uh, like if two host uh, one route is for the host channel so if some host was going to join through some link so we are creating some dynamic links here and another one is we are creating a live link so that user can watch through that link so these are the three uh, files another one is these are a the component that we are going to show our ui how you want to show all those things so basic and live all those things you can show so these are the projects that we are going to follow here so here we have the service api these are if you have if you are using some common method then you can use you can create a and co a common method service and here a routing file we have here we have models what model we are going to use here uh, so basically these are uh, for the type checking we are using this model this is the live component that we have this is a basic component that we are going to use to show the host so let me add all those things one by one because this is the lengthy code that's why i copy paste that code because if i write each line then it will take lots of time so what we are going to do uh, so firstly we need to create the routes so routes we can create here means you must have also have good knowledge of angular so that then you can create all those things easily so what this indicate basically uh, uh, you can create multiple routes user 1 2 3 4 so all that kind of routes we can create here let me show you here so these are the kind of routes that we are going to create type like one user going to one host is going to join from this second host is going going to join from this link and this live and from this live link uh, 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 the audience can join from that link so all those things we can achieve from that let me check route is configured or not so here user 1 here user 2 and here is the live link ok perfect now let's move to the another part so as i mentioned about the uh, token thing so let me show you the token so here i am using a pre-built api that we have just as so with that api you can generate a token you can generate a rtc token let me show you in the network tab as i move proceed i will update that also 
so here this is the join component this is a basic you can modify it according to your uh, behavior that you want to add So this is a join component means here just we, what we have added basic thing like join call this is simple text and here we have added a button with that user can join the call and here we have added a button with that user can leave the call and nothing. Next is let me add some code here. I will give you the idea later. What we have add, we are what we are going, what we are adding here. So this is just to hide the buttons to make the UI more perfect. And for starting the call, what functions we need? And this is to just to leave the call just to close the call we use this logout method you can use c here logout oh, this is a some basic thing now next move to the live next move to the live window so here uh, let me add the code also here we are what we are showing here we are using the here we are sho using the showing the host basically this is i think incorrect variable name so here we are showing the means what whatever the hosts are talking whatever the where how many hosts are there so we are showing the videos of the those host so here i just added uh, the hard code data here you can uh, you can also uh, in the basic component what you can do you can do one thing like you can uh, means with the starting the call you can also take the name of user so these are uh, uh, this is the separate functionality but you here I've added the hard code username and here with that you will can add the ID 01 so it will show how many users are in the call how many how many hosts are there let me add the method names also so uh, this is the live join call i will update you after that let me check here what is left so this is the so uh, we have completed the ui part so means this is a join component uh, means if some host going to join where from where they can join and with that uh, the live user can also join and next is what screen is visible to live users this is screen visible to live users so let's move to the another thing what we have so we have discussed routing we have discussed the join we have added the live code we have added the service uh, this code you have added the live code now let's move to the how you can call the api so how you can call the api you just need to pass here we are using one get get request so you can with that method you can easily get the request so you already know i think the you need as you need to use http client you need to use http client to call any api so with for with that if you are going to use http client you must need to use the uh, http client module this is http client module that you need to use and i think it, that must be you are aware of so next is uh, we are going to update the uh, api service so what you need to use in the api part uh, the common service that you are going to use so uh, for to so for generating a token what you need you need a uid so here what we are doing we are generating the five digit uid here 
to generate a token so this is your uh, uh, token generation process so uh, i will update all those things here so in the rtc token what is the requirement they need a they need a channel name and they need a random uid so what we are doing here we are generating a uid here and here with that api what we are doing we are generating a we are generating a token here so these are the requirements to generate a token the channel name and the uid so i have added that code in the common file mm, let me check again so this is a uid this is a token okay now now next move to the uh, different part what we have so and this is the interface that we are going to use so as i mentioned earlier for uh, uh, publishing the tracks what for base what basic need you need from the agora you need a client you need a audio track you need a video track so you can create an interface also and uh, with the user each user the each with each user these these things are associated uid and name so currently we have not worked on the name part we have only worked on the uid so uh, each user can identify with the uid part so with that with the you can import those interfaces from the agora rtc sdk and g next is Uh, let me show you this is the main file that we have the agora agora part this is all about let me update the stream service here so this is our main file in which all code is written let me correct the errors Okay, now it's so. Let me connect all those stream servers with the component part. So, to starting a call, what you need to do, you need to firstly you need to generate a UID. So, as I mentioned, we need to generate a UID to pass to the API so that we can get the token part. So, next is what we get, are getting here. We are Uh, generating a token according on the basis of that uid so this is the sample url that we have so let me hit it with the normal because here i think they they are they need a sign up let me hit it here so as you can see here what it will return it will return a token so this token you are going to use So as you can see here, this is token that we are going to use to start the call. Let, let's back to the basic component. So firstly, you generate a UID, then you generate a token. Then uh, what in the document they mention? Let me show you again. You need to create a client. you need to create a client let's let's check here another diagram so firstly you need to create a local client role so all things comes here you need you will generate a token then you will create a client so how you can create client so this is the agora rtc package that you are using here so you can see here we have imported that here from the uh, library so with that you can create a client so these are the configuration that you need to do in case of live user what you need to do you need to pass the mode live in case of the host what you need to do you need to pass the mode rtc so these things you must have to remember because without that it will the code will not work because from this channel from this the all the all kinds of user going to join the call
from here the live user will going to join the call from here the live user going to join the call and from here the uh, the host will going to join the call so you need to generate id you generate token you have created an instance of client here and update and use that in the client next what you will have to do let me check again so you so here are some callbacks that you need to add so these are the callbacks means if user publish if any user publish their track to the if any user publish their track if any user join the call so these are the three callbacks that we have used here we means what actions we need to perform on the basis of those callbacks you need to check that also next is uh, so these are the server events what uh, are server events uh, let me show you again so they so what we are doing in those events in case of unpublished we are doing nothing now for now and in case of user joint so in the case of user joint we are updating our array means whatever the uid means this user joint return a uid of that person so here we are updating uh, the array and uh, here what we are going to do here we if in here we are using some variables to update so currently uh, we are using the remote users and live user list these two things currently we are using and uh, second is uh, in case of if user published their track what we are doing we are in case of published we are subscribing those tracks and after that we are going to play that video at their end this is the video that we are going to play i will show the element later and uh, last not least so this local user means uh, after creating all, all instance after creating the all instance creating uh, configuring callback so we, this is the last thing that we need to do so what we are going to do here in case of live user we are setting the role audience so as you can see here we have set the role uh, audience here second is what we are going to do we are going to join the channel so as you can see here we are creating a client we have already created we are setting the role we are joining the channel so all those things here we have mentioned that we are joining the channel now so here uh, in for joining the channel what you need you need two three things in hand like the app id channel and token and uid so app id we will get from the console that i already mentioned here from the means if you created an account at agora so you will you after that you will need to create a project and you need to uh, add that id here so i mentioned the id ever and second is what you need to do you need to pass some static channel name let me show you so these are the channel name that we have uh, means we have passed here set the channel this uh, this is the channel name that we have passed here we use we use this channel you can also create the multiple channels you can make it dynamic you can uh, do all those things so this is the basic demo that i i am showing here so in the channel what you need to pass you need to pass app id channel token uid so all things uh, after adding all those things what you have to do uh, uh, what you need to do you need to play the tracks close the tracks the microphone track the camera track the video track and after that after uh, after uh, updating those tracks you need to publish those tracks so here you can see here all those things already mentioned like you need to create a uh, tracks you need to publish those tracks and and this is the subscribe to remote user means the callbacks that you have created a user published as i see i can see here this user published callback is going to happen here so this is the user published track so i will show you all those things in the chrome in the browser also so that you can get better understanding so this is a what we we are we are so we are the, yeah, so these are certain steps that you need to follow generate id generate token uid at client server event local user okay and uh, to close the call what you need to do you need to just simply 
do some things like you need to close those tracks that you created already and you need to remove those ids you need to leave the client so with that you can exit that call completely otherwise the user will showing there so you can see here also so while leaving the channel what you need to do you need to close those tracks and leave the channel so we have done all those all those things here so let's move to the live window also in the live window we 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 have done the same thing we just here generate id chunk token and add here just we what we have we have added on flag so that uh, it we will easily identify which what is the user role here so let's uh, uh, let me show you again so here means we have added the type here with that you can identify what is the role of user so in this is the host role this is the live user so now let's move to the application now this is the live uh, let me check so read me again uh, so this is the live user link it's here you can watch the live channel and uh, with that user one link so this is the ui that we have and second is user two means, means these are the two users that are going to join from those links user one and user two and here we can watch those users so let me show here what will happen after i will join the channel so this is the basic uh, compatibility it all firstly will it will check the compatibility if you have integrated data library in your project so let me join with the join call now let's see what it will happen so it will ask the permission so here i have given the permission So here so as I show here, here like, like two users, two users are, joined. are joined. So this, so this is, is showing blank because uh, I, have I have covered, covered my, my camera. camera. So that's why it is not due to difficulty I have covered, covered my camera. camera. So, so, so uh, uh, here it will, it will show the video of user and whatever they are talking, whatever they are communicating. So it you can see if you can watch that video easily here. So here you can see here what it will what it had triggered here. Let me show you here what they have triggered. They have detected the browser, browser. Then, then what they, they have, have done. done. So, so as I mentioned that like in the user join, uh, uh, with the user join what, what we have all doing here, here means, means what, what is the user data. So, so all those so things, things mentioned, mentioned here. here. So here, so here we, have, we, we are updating, updating our arrays, arrays here. here. After, After that, that, you can see. Here it, Here it will also, also show the show videos, the videos of, of. It will also show the videos of the users, user. but due but to, due to uh, uh, some CSS, CSS, I think, I think it, it is not showing here. here. Now. Now. So as, so I, as see, I see, I have clicked, clicked the leave, leave button. button. So what, what it had done? So, so user one, one is left from, from here. here. So that's why its video is blank for now. So you can easily test that also. So if, so if I click, click this leave, then both users are left, means there is there are no one here. So you can do that things easily. 
so this is the basic demo that we have so i i will also push that code in the repository if you need that i will update and uh, mention it the mention it in the description so you can get the code also so thanks for watching guys and in case of any query you can comment you can update any the things that you want okay thanks guys